is actually this one. But <laughs> I can give me a good. On Monday, he called me and uh, basically just said, "Look, I, I don't want to be a distraction to the work of the foundation." And he said, uh, "What do you think if I uh, step down as chairman?" And we had a number of conversations, and then he decided to approach the board yesterday afternoon uh, and offer his resignation as chairman in order to help preserve and further the work long term. Well, obviously this weekend, uh, I expect him to be as active as he's ever been. Uh, he'll be speaking on Friday night. He'll be uh, uh, hosting a major event for our grassroots fundraisers on Saturday night. He'll be riding with three or 4,000 people on Sunday. Um, so he'll be visible and he'll always sort of carry uh, the flag for the cause. I mean, this is probably one of the higher level debacles. It's getting up in the Tiger Woods neighborhood as far as money lost and opportunities lost and probably money not to be in any, anywhere in the future regained. You know, with Tiger, he could probably possibly regain, but with, with Lance Armstrong, I don't think there's gonna be an opportunity for him to regain this kind of status or anywhere near it. Uh, you gotta have balls, but it's dedicated to my mother, my wife. So nobody paid attention to it. This was written five years ago by David Walsh. And it just, this is a great lesson to any athlete that no matter how big you are, that clean sport and then the integrity of clean sport is so important for the athletes and most important for our kids. So they know that if you're going to do something bad and cheat, you'll eventually get caught and you'll pay the price for it.